Hello everyone, this is Bart Coppens, your favorite online entomologist. And in this video I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite African silk moth genera, Aurivillis. Hello everyone, today I'm about to show you a silk moth that I've always been a big, big fan of. The genus Aurivillis. We are currently looking at a specimen of the Aurivillis aratus, a male. In the wild, this species is reported to eat many food plants, including castor bean, Ricinus communis, Psidium guava, aka guava, but also a rich variety of uh, plants of the pea family, Fabacea, including Albizia, which is its most common food plant in Africa. But the list is much bigger. In captivity, they can be raised on uh, fagus, which is beech tree, but also oak, quercus, cherry, prunus, even privet, ligustrum, and on robinia, which is black locust. What is fascinating about this species are the caterpillars. Here you see some of my own caterpillars. And these guys were relatively easy to raise. Personally, I chose beech fagus as host plant, but you can use any of the food plants I mentioned before, even the common privet. And what I found really fascinating is that these green caterpillars have honestly amazing golden stripes on their body. Can you see the golden metallic uh, patches that run along their backs? That was one of the main appeals of the caterpillar to me. They uh, seem like, like they have been plated by gold. Now in captivity these moths are, in my opinion, uh, relatively easy to raise. It's uh, important to not overcrowd them. And they seem to grow better in plastic boxes than they do in uh, open cages for some reason. I don't know why, but... Um, Maybe they like to be sheltered from the dry, desiccating air of our indoor houses, house environments. Maybe it's just my house. But uh, the caterpillars I put in a cage didn't grow so well as the one I put in a small fauna box here. When the caterpillars are ready to pupate, they, uh, they, they bury themselves underground. This is an earth pupator. You can just put them in a, a box with paper towels in which the caterpillar pupates. And after one or two weeks you'll have a healthy pupa. In captivity the pupa of Aurifilius aratus seem to hatch in about one and a half to three months time. Sometimes longer. If they don't like the conditions they have the ability to, to remain dormant for a longer time, maybe up to six months or more. But if you keep them warm and a little bit humid, then you will uh, expect moths quite quickly in the same season. So they can, in captivity, they are definitely more or less continuously brooded. The adult moth is extremely beautiful in my opinion. They are yellow and very variable with uh, brown markings. And these markings can, can be very dark brown to even yeah, very light and almost pinkish. And they are decorated with two bright red eye spots on the hind wings. This moth's uh, yellow brown pattern obviously lets it blend on the forest floor with uh, dead leaves. And the eye spots may uh, scare away potential predators that want to molest or eat it. So, what is interesting about this moth is the size. It is somewhat smaller than the uh, other big silk moths of Africa that is related to, such as uh, Lobo Bunea or Bunea. The Buneini, which is a tribe of silk moths that are commonly found in Africa, are generally rather big moths, but uh, in reality Aurifilius aratus is a medium-sized Saturnid. You can expect wingspans from uh, 5 to 10 centimeters, depending on the species you have. In the future, I uh, certainly hope to study more of them. Unfortunately, Aurevillius species are not commonly available in the hobby. And eggs are rarely offered. 
despite these moths being very common in Africa, especially around forests, there, uh, there it can be a very common and abundant species. Despite that, not many people are focused on collecting material from tropical Asia, I suppose. So you have to be really lucky to see them for sale. Otherwise, you'll just have to go to Africa yourself to study them. Either way, I thank you for being here and for being my viewer. Thanks for watching my video on Aurifilius Aratus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe you'll see some other pieces of them too in the future. See ya!